Witches! Yes! Yes! Screw you guys! I'm going home! Hey folks, Crazy Glamour 80 here again, and this time we're going to look at a game called Speed Freak. This was created by a company called Vector Beam in 1979, and uh, its designer was Larry Rosenthal. This is a black and white vector racing game with a pretty cool uh, wireframe look to it, at least for its time. Uh, this is almost a first person perspective racer. You get to see the uh, hood of your car. But uh, this has four gears, first gear, second gear, third gear, fourth gear, a steering wheel, and a gas pedal. You have 121 seconds to try to earn yourself some extra time, and you have to get 129 points. If you stay in first gear, there's absolutely no way you'll be able to get that extra time. Uh, if you stay in second gear, Eh, maybe you can get it if you never crash. Uh, more likely you'll have to dabble with a little bit of third gear. Fourth gear, you're completely out of control. I would not recommend it. But uh, I love the, the look of the uh, various things on the road and off the road. You'll see like a hitchhiker. You'll see a cow. You'll see a, a road sign. Just all sorts of things. And there's two crash animations. We'll go ahead and get started. I'm just going to stay in uh, first gear for this game. We'll play uh, a few games. Uh, you'll see trees on the side of the road. And there's a uh, car right in the road uh, getting repair, I guess. Um, there are two, uh, two crash animations. One has just a cracked windshield. And the other one is actually pretty cool. It'll show uh, it'll show the parts of your or the parts of your car flying through the air in in great detail. This game was really pretty cool for its time. I uh, I played the hell out of it back in the day uh, at my dad's bowling alley when he had league. Uh, this was in the very very early 80s. Um, they had this game there, and it was like the, the first one that I played when we went to his uh, bowling alley on uh, league nights, Monday nights, after school. And uh, shortly after that, they brought in a Galaxian, and I played the hell out of that one, too. <laughs> but, uh, I, yeah, I like the detail they put into this. You can see there's hitchhikers, there's cars... Uh, on the on the road, uh, either driving towards you or or uh, getting repair. There's a cow, um, trees, just just very cool. And there's even a plane flying overhead. There's kind of a checkpoint looking uh, banner that you pass underneath, but it's it's not a checkpoint. The only way you can get time back is if you get 129 points. And there's no way you're going to do it in gear number one. Now, if you need to uh, switch, if you uh, switch gears coming uh, coming off of a crash, you'll want to go to first gear and then second gear or third gear after you uh, after your car uh, starts up. But uh, we're going to play again here. This time, I'm going to stick with uh, second gear. And yeah, if your car is at a standing still, go to first gear and then second gear. But you'll 
notice that uh, obviously your score will increase quicker but uh, it's much harder to uh, control but yeah for its time it was it was pretty darn cool vector beam um, usually had uh, employees that would work for both vector beam and uh, uh, cinematronics yeah, the uh, the cars coming towards you give a little little bit of a honk on the horn. You do not have a horn yourself. Uh, I remember another uh, black and white racing game called uh, Fire Truck had a horn on it, which was kind of cool. You don't you don't really need it. Whoops. <laughs> yeah, like I said, if you're gonna uh, race in uh, second gear. You better not crash, or there's no way you're going to get the uh, the uh, uh, 129 points required. You start the game with 121 seconds, and if you can get the uh, extra time by uh, passing 129 points, you will end up getting 40 extra seconds. But yeah, I... I remember this one well. Like I said, there are only two crash animations. One is uh, the uh, cracked windshield right there, or there is uh, your car parts flying through the air. And uh, we may not have seen that yet, but we will definitely see it eventually. Yeah, I only got a hundred points. That was uh, still well short of uh, 129 points, so you might have to dabble with uh, third gear a bit. Yeah, this is not not very heavy on the uh, sound effects. Uh, this time through, I uh, I put on a cheat of uh, infinite time at one point. I think I had 20 some seconds left, and then. Uh, uh, I was able to get the uh, 129 points required for extra time. You only get that extra time once. If you like get another 129 points, it, it won't matter. You'll you'll still run out of time unless you kept the uh, infinite time cheat in meme. <laughs> See all the car parts fly through the air. <laughs> Sometimes it seems. Uh, whoops. Sometimes it seems that the uh, uh, some at some points the car parts will fly through the air a little slower or take longer to uh, to uh, stop flying, and other times it'll it'll be fairly quick. I don't know why that happens, but <laughs> I really enjoyed this game back in the day. There are, there were a number of uh, early arcade games I liked that were racers, like the sprint games. Um, <laughs> they, they go into great detail. There's like the axle and the uh, all all sorts of uh, parts, uh, lovingly rendered in uh, wireframe black and white detail. <laughs> I used to love this, and I used to love uh, a little handheld game I used to have. There's the cow called a digital derby. That was a lot of fun. You uh, you do not get like a special animation of the cow getting splattered when you run into it. <laughs> Unfortunately, I used to imagine how funny that would be. Uh, but if you uh, if you ever played uh, hard driving, you would at least get to hear the cow moo when you run into it. Or how uh, 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 was it? Cruising USA, or one of the cruising games where you could run into a cow and see it splatter. <laughs> I have I have a fondness for uh, racing games. I'm not always very good at them, but I, I enjoy them a lot. Really, they really started to uh, get uh, get excellent in the '90s with uh, Daytona USA or the. Uh, Sega 
championship rally or whatever it was called. Some good racing games of the of the nineties and uh, the San Francisco Rush games. One of these days, I'll uh, re-upload the the eighty-five onward uh, uh, twenty from series someday soon. There, I got the extra time. And like I said, the extra time is forty seconds, and uh, you will get that extra time once you once you reach one hundred twenty-nine points, and you start off with a hundred. 121 seconds. Some kind of weird uh, totals. Uh, 121 seconds to start with, and then you get extra time at 129 seconds. <laughs> kind of weird. But yeah, I really, th for its time, this was really cool. But again, this was Speed Freak. By Vector Beam in 1979, uh, March March of 1979, and the des the uh, designer was Larry Rosenthal. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah, it would have been kind of cool to see a, a an animation of the of the uh, hitchhiker splattering or the cow splattering or or whatever or hear them scream or something. <laughs> but uh, this, this game was kind of cool for its time. But that was uh, Speed Freak by Vector Beam in 1979. Uh, created or uh, designed by Larry Rosenthal. Well, this is Crazy Climber Racing. Thanks for watching. Speed Freak by Vector Beam in 1979. Hope to see you soon for another video. Y'all take it easy, everybody, and I will see you later. Bye-bye.